Once you've logged into the app, uh, you'll see a home screen that looks like this. There are several different uh, items to be aware of and uh, we're going to start from the top. So coming up to the top here, um, you will see that there's a little settings cog. This enables us to change the font size on the actual app itself. You can do that by changing the size of the A here. So if we select the small one, it will select small text. The medium one is medium text, which is the default, and the large one is large text. We can also log out from the device here at the top, and we can also enable a sync. We always advise that staff should always sync their devices first thing in the morning because if any changes were made on the dashboard back in the office the previous evening, uh, these changes will then all be pushed through for a fresh sync. So you have the most up-to-date information before going to site. Once you're logged in, you don't really need to log out, but if you need to log out for any reason, you can do so from this door icon here. You can sync another way as well by holding onto the picture itself and then if you drag down you'll see the picture will move down and a little sync icon will be transparent over the image but it will enable you to sync again if you swipe down. The user you're logged in as is clearly stated here by the email address and the last sync that that email address logged into a device is also located below. Below that you'll see a reflow version that you're using and here we can see we're using 1.8.2.4. This version will obviously update throughout time and uh, as time goes by. We will always request this uh, version number that you're using if you're experiencing any issues with the app. The main menu will have several options which will be consistent and relevant of what industry you work for. They will be schedule, reminders, information, map and then you'd have other forms or all forms. Below that, at the bottom, you'll have saved forms and submitted forms. Schedule. Going into schedule opens up a list of all the jobs that have been scheduled specifically for you. If we take this surfacing one as an example, you'll see that when we click onto it, all the job information opens up within the gray panel. The status of the job is highlighted by this progress bar here, the date and the time. Underneath this we have a location button which will enable us to sat nav to the place that we need to go to. When we open it we will see this picker on the map. If we tap the picker it will then enable us to tap again for a sat nav through Google Maps. If you have tasks assigned they will appear underneath the location. Sometimes tasks are assigned to a job and sometimes they're not. It's completely dependent on what your office deems as the necessary process for your working protocols. Within the tasks you may have forms assigned and if you do you can just tap the forms and the form will directly open up and pre-fill any job information pertinent to that job. Underneath the location and tasks section you'll have documents and forms. Documents will enable you to view any PDFs that have been attached part of that job and forms will be any forms that are required for the job. You just have to select which form you need for that particular job. Underneath the main menu we have this footer. In the footer we have a house icon, a task list icon, a photo upload icon and a search icon. The home icon does exactly what you would expect it to do and it takes you back to the home page of the app. The task icon actually takes you through to your tasks for that day and the camera icon takes you directly through to the photo upload form and the search icon enables you to search for items on your device. If you have any more questions about the Reflow app or how to use it specifically for your industry, please do not hesitate to get in touch with our support team. Thank you.